ladies and gentlemen, live from Lakeside this Tuesday evening is 1028 Live with your host, Dog Skinner. <sighs> All right, sit down, sit down, calm down. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Doc Skinner here. It's 1028 Live. As the uh, MZ said, Tuesday the 31st. It is Tuesday. Yes. Good morning. All day. All day. Well, a few more hours. Oh, it's been a, this has been an amazing month. Um, a frustrating month, <laughs> to say. Been a long but month. Right. we have made it through one, month number one. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of hiccups, a lot of hiccups. And so, uh, apologize to those that watch and appreciate you sticking it out with us. Um, it's going to be a lot better. As you probably read from the title of tonight's show, what did we title it? Big announcements. I'm back. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, oh, MZ, I'm right here. Yeah, do yes. apologize. You're yes. trying, to, trying to sort out an 18 year old who's having college issues. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that, isn't that like come with going to college issues? Here, here's the thing, and, and as we as we are all mature adults, mm -hmm. well, some of us anyway. Never. No, exactly. <laughs> so you know when you got to that point in your life where it was okay, do I go to college? Do I go into the outside world? And. Uh, I went into the outside world at 16. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and here's the thing, and, and I'm not gonna bag on the schools too much, uh, a little bit maybe, but mm -hmm. they don't teach the kids about the outside world. They really don't. No, no. Smart kids, zero common sense. Absolutely, right. you know, and, and I'm just trying to get him to, to kind of, I'm not saying he's stupid, but I'm just trying to get him to understand a lot of things when it comes to growing up and right. venturing to the outside world, so. He, he's working on a few things. He's, he's generally doesn't want to, but you know, you got to try and uh, give yeah, do what you can. But that, that's that's what that's part of your job. I mean, it's good to yeah, I cause, cause, for cause, this. And, and that well, yeah. And so you did it. You did what needed to be done. And you, I told him straight. I said, you know, and this was actually tonight before we came down here. I said, listen, here, here, here's your goal. Sort out your college stuff. I can't do it for you. If mm -hmm. you don't sort it out in time, by the time you come to graduate. Guess what? You're getting a job whether you like it or not. Oh. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I didn't go down too well. I went into It's either a college us. career. Yeah. You know, career and, or, yes. you know, just start a job. Yeah. And but yeah, we yeah. all know what job stands for, right? Go on. Just over broke. Pretty much. Yeah. And That's like pretty pay, good. Payday is broke reimbursement. Thanks, day. Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, in high school, do you, any of you guys ever go to college? Oh man, I went to college like every Saturday night. A couple of them. <laughs> Even I mean, was uh, at a frat all the time, but right. I wasn't in the frat. Yeah. <laughs> do you know, in hindsight though, I wish I had gone to college. I really do. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I was at school, hated it. Didn't want to be there. Didn't want nothing to do with it. The day I could get out of that place, I was booking it down the road with my crappy exam results in my hand, and I was like, time to face the world. Mm -hmm. Probably should have thought about that a little bit more. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to school. Yeah, I'm gonna go and do an online class. Roddy Dangerfield, <laughs> De 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 DeVry, because I think uh, there's a, De no, 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 I've got, cream, I've got cream for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, no, I'm thinking about um, I'm thinking about going to learn English. Really? Yeah. It's about time. <laughs> no. Whoa! 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 Yeah, Just yeah. kidding! I did! I did! I did! No, I'm actually, I'm gonna go study um, study media and uh, and production and radio stuff. So, looking forward to it. If actually. I had the cash, I would send you to. Yeah. Well, you want to go to broadcasting school, right? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to go to like everything else, entertainment media, school? Media, media in general. Can, may, may I make a suggestion? Absolutely, yeah, of course. All right. And uh, yeah, this school is pretty amazing. It's gotten really big now, and I think you can do the classes online. Okay. Um, but it's Full Sail Center for the Recording Arts. And uh, I went there. I is went it, there. Is that the one in it, California, it, by no, it's, well, they, I mean, they're online, so they're worldwide, but the main base. The main campus is in uh, Winter Park, Florida. Okay. And the beauty about it, when I went, uh, John Phelps, you're the man. John Phelps was the founder of Full Sail. And there was only 300 students at the school at that time. And I was one of them. And he would take uh, you know, a couple hours of his day, and we'd go to his office, and he had this big marker board. And he would um, solve all of our problems with mind mapping, which is a form of uh, brainstorming, in a sense, circles and lines. And when he taught me that, my life went a different way. I was at, through that school, I got to go on Universal Studios, work for Spielberg, work with Roy Scheider, the Dom DeLuise, nice. and his sons, uh, Don Franklin, um, Hulk Hogan. Uh, I mean, all because of Full Sail. 
because the instructors, I don't know if they still do it this way, but at the time, the instructors had to be working in the industry while they taught. And the beauty of it was if, let's say, they're working on a set at the Universal lot, right, for a TV show or a movie, and it's running long, but he had a class scheduled that night every week, right? He would call the, the teacher's uh, 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 the, the assistant, the yeah. TA, whatever, and they would call all of us, and they'd say, go to Security Gate, uh, Universal Studios, Soundstage you got, 5. You get a lot of hands-on experience then. It was nothing but hands-on. Wow. Remember the song uh, by Shaquille O'Neal? Where he went out and did a rap album. Oh, oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal had a music career for a, a, a breath, but Rubbish. he recorded it at full sale because he was at the Orlando Magic then. All right. And it's the they have the top equipment ever. Okay, I'm not asking for an endorsement. I just went there, and this school was awesome. But and I suggest did, anybody who goes there. In, but right. go ahead, you can <laughs> endorse us. I would love to come back and do some updated classes um, because it's icy hot. I I bumped into. <laughs> <laughs> I bumped into Shaquille O'Neal while I was recording that because I was walking to the bathroom. I didn't know who he was. I thought it was a football player or something. Go, Don't you play football? Nine, nine feet tall though. But he's a big. He's oh a big yeah, player. yeah. He was, he was a wall. And then he would. And he was only eighteen, nineteen. And I remember because he would come into our club and it was all big scandal because he was underage. Hang on, wait a minute. That yeah. really shows your true age. Though. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, real Dude, quick, I'm, I would, I'm on Facebook tonight. Yeah. Before we carry on. Uh, good evening to Arnold Thomas Jr. He's watching along. Oh, and, hi, Arnold. Uh, hey, Vince. Uh, Hope you're doing all right, Vince, sir. yes. Hope everything's going well. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, just wanted to let you know that these guys are, uh, are on board with us tonight. Sorry, coming back to you, Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I bumped Sorry. into him. Sure. And he's like, uh, hi. And I'm like, hi. Because I, I <laughs> uh, classes were 24-7. So, this was like 3 in the morning. We, were, we had a lab. Because they want you to get ready for the real world. Right. And so, I bumped into him. And I was like, oh, hi. And I was like, aren't you that football player? And he goes, no, nah, basketball. My name's Shaq. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hi. Do you know Michael Jordan? <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't do that. I was like, my name's Doc. And he was like, are you kidding? I'm like, no, that's what my mama calls me. <laughs> so he goes, yeah, the he, he, he goes, you want you got a sec? And I was like, okay. So we walked into the, one of the recording studios. And he, uh, the teacher was like, aren't you supposed to be in lab? And he's like, it's cool. Just give him a sec. So he goes in the solo booth and they do the playback. And I'm, I'm only 20, right? Okay. Huge ego. And uh, he gets in the studio and he starts laying down the track and, or the beat. And then he starts doing the rhymes and he goes, what's up, Doc? Can we rock? And I'm like, what? What? Are you serious? And, and, and the instructor looks at me and goes, it was already written, dude. It had nothing to do with you. I was like, oh. That's, that, dude, oh. that's fate. That's huh? fate. That was, I, it that was, was funny is what it was. I laughed at it. was for you to meet Shaq O'Neal in the bathroom. Oh. No, 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 not in the bathroom, in the hallway. I was oh, going boy, to the sorry. bathroom. I didn't I even, I, I actually missed going to the bathroom. I had to go after the class. Oh, I thought you were in the bathroom. Yeah, and then, yeah. 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 Do we have Snoop Dogg and, uh, um, Snoop Lion. Is, what is it? Snoop it's Snoop Lion, Lion now? Snoop Lion. Well, in the, the early song. days, when it was Death Row Records, yeah. uh, they were coming in and promoting in our club, and it was uh, Snoop Dogg and, oh, Dre, was it? Yeah, Snoop and Dre were the boys at yeah. the time, weren't they? All I remember is I saw Snoop, and I was with DJ Dick Tracy, and we were in the booth spinning, and, and they came in, and they just looked at us with a straight face and said, get out. Okay, <laughs> and Dick maybe. Tracy grabbed me, because I'm sitting going, what the hell? And Dick Tracy grabbed me and said, come on. Okay, Mr. And they, they DJed for like an hour. That was kind of cool. But uh, anyway, we haven't got to the big announcements yet. Oh, we can do that a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to keep them waiting? Yeah, why not? Okay, well, just just for a little bit, just for a little bit. Cause... I've, I've got a moan. I've got to have a rant. I've not been on for a while, so I've been kind of storing a lot of this up. Oh, and, okay. And I'm going to apologize in advance right now, guys. It's a bit of a political rant, and, I, and, and I'm sorry. How many more protests do we have to endure, sit, watch, get on Facebook about the whole Trump thing? I, I, know, I know you covered it on your show uh, last week. Yeah, but I just a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying not to take a side on it. I, I mean, I'm not taking sides. I'm not going to take sides. Whoever you vote for, all power to you, okay? Mm -hmm. But... This is what has happened, okay? The people, the majority of people have voted for Trump to be president. President, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. Thank, and that, was, that was Lassie, by the way, just chiming yeah. in. Just so not, Timmy's in the well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a majority vote. It's been taken. The guy's now in power. He's going to be here for four years. What are you going to do? Protest and he's already made a crap load of changes in just the last yeah. two weeks. Yeah. A lot that people have been protesting and wanting, yeah. and yet now he's doing it, and everybody's now, oh, no, 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 no. Did you know they've actually got a but, team of lawyers set up 
um, the opposite party, I'm not going to mention names, but have got a, a team of lawyers set up to try and get so many of Trump's executive orders that he's already passed vetoed and quashed in the House already. Which ain't going to happen. Hmm. But, you know, and, and the, the women's marches, I, okay, guys, uh, and this is going on a bit of a tangent. I put it on Facebook the other night and it kind of blew up big time. But so I he's going to do it here live on no, the air no, right no, now. No, I just asked the question, okay? I'm looking for what? a commercial to cut in. Yeah, you might want to. But why, okay, I didn't understand why these women were protesting um, in the first place, okay? And that's not me being ignorant, it's just I didn't know, so I asked the question, okay? Now I have Democrat family, I have liberal family, I have friends that are both sides. And one of them came up and said, we were protesting because he may take some of our women's rights away, all right? So I'm sitting there trying to figure this out, and it's like, so you're putting the cart before the horse, you're protesting over something that he hasn't done yet, mm -hmm. or that he, he, he might not even do. Well, it, it turned into a bit of a... Um, an argumentative match. Let's put it this way: it's over 137 comments on my personal Facebook page. You small town famous? No, I'm <laughs> small town wanted. I think <laughs> or infamous. Yes, yeah, infamous too. is the word. So here's the thing: and obviously, being from England, and I, I watched back in July um, the the vote on the European Union of whether Britain should sign and opt out of the European Union. Again, majority vote. So the majority vote was to to leave. People are still now, what, six, seven months down the line still protesting about it? And it's like, get over it. It's done. Everybody's just going to move on with their lives. You're going to sit there and moan and complain and bitch about what's happening. I didn't nothing... win. Yeah, it, that's, that's, that's pretty much what it's down to. It's like, I didn't get my own way, so I'm going to scream and shout and carry on until it changes. But well, that's here's the our... news, folks. It ain't going to. Yeah. Deal with it. Yeah, and this society that has become this, we need all... Grow up. And, and, and check Seriously. This out. in my hometown of Leicester, England, last night in the town hall square, they protested about Trump. Really? Now, let me ask you a question. What the heck has Trump got to do with England? <laughs> well, I know, I know the uh, British Parliament had a huge thing a few months back where they were like, if he becomes president, he's not allowed in our country. Oh, now they've opened the doors for him. Really? Yeah, Theresa May, the Prime Minister of the UK, has opened the doors. Trump said, yeah, come on over. In fact, they've already had a meeting at the White House. Wow. Um, now, I don't, I, but, but why would the British people go up in arms about something that's not going to affect them? It's not going to affect them at all. We have a Prime Minister in England who is useless. And I'm going to say that live on air, useless. I could do a better job, and I don't know what I'm doing. But it's got nothing to do with them. Hmm. But then now jumping on the, the whole kind of banning of the of the certain um, races and religions that are supposedly Trump has banned. Yeah. You know we just lost the two UK viewers we have now. <laughs> there was only one. Okay. Fine. <laughs> you were the other one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said that money. But here's the thing though, guys. I mean, I don't know. I don't care who you voted for. I voted I for Shaq, yeah. You voted for Shaq, yeah. Okay. I got free Icy Hot. <laughs> <laughs> There's an the endorsement right there. Oh, oh I got free Icy the Hot. Thanks, Shaq. Turned on. <laughs> and it's fine. It's fine. Come in. I'm starting to feel better. Yeah. <laughs> been sick for 90 he, weeks. Here's the thing if people didn't want Trump in power, they wouldn't have voted him in. Am I right or not? Yeah. So, guys, get over it. You yeah. Know, I, I, now, I, granted, I, 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 you know, like the movie, um, uh, was it the terminal with Tom Hanks mm -hmm. where he's stuck because of a war or something? He's stuck in the yeah. JFK airport. Yes, yeah. there are these people that were in midair that were already cleared, you yeah. know, they're coming over, but once they landed, they weren't allowed to get back on a plane and go back or go into the US. It was the same scenario, yeah. and and uh, I don't know if they still have people doing that. Well, but, no, I'm kind of in that same sort of boat almost, to be honest with you. I mean, I am a U.S. citizen with my, with my... No, because I'm actually... Hmm. I am actually a U.S. citizen, oddly enough. Um, my dad's originally from Jersey. I had dual, citizen from, dual, dual citizenship from birth. Mm -hmm. My wife and kids are on green cards. Okay. Now, this is going to sound really weird coming probably from an immigrant, which I am. But if you come to the country legally and do it the right way, all power to you. Oh, yeah. No, and, absolutely. And, and one thing, just... Yeah. You know, and this was like normal. Yeah. Okay. And I'm all about people coming to our country if they have got good intentions and they want to do something better with their lives. Absolutely. Amen. That's what America's all about. Yeah. But the one thing that's always gotten under my skin is, and I, you know, someone's going to get, someone's going to get pissed. I cussed. Ooh. No, like, you're okay with that one. No. That's, that's not part of the seven deadly sins. I mean, so it, okay. But, you know, they used to 
have you come in, you had to take classes. Yep. You had to learn the language. Absolutely. And, and then it just gets, so, it makes, but, I just, I have people with other nationalities that expect me to speak their language. I'm like, well, I'm not in your country. If I was, I would expect myself to learn that con that, that uh, language. Yeah. And, and the heritage right. and the culture. Absolutely right. That's the whole point of going somewhere new. So what's my excuse? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start trying to work with Wrong that. turn in Albuquerque. Yeah, I gotta start working on that. So, so but no, you're absolute, absolutely right with that. And, and, and that's the only thing I'm asking. You know, really. I mean, even if you want to come over illegally, and or if you get away with it, and I don't know if, if we have a wall or not, but it's gonna end just, up there. just, you know, but he, he's, don't get mad at me because I don't speak your language. That's the, the only problem that, I've ever had. No, no. A lot of a lot of the countries, um, especially in Europe, that are getting a lot more of the immigrants in from um, from Syria and, and in that kind of area. Okay, if we went the other way, say you decided one day, do you know what, I've had enough of the states, I'm going to go move to Syria. They're going to expect you to conform, learn mm -hmm. the language. Oh, and become they, and, Muslim? And, and they, well, not so much become Muslim, but accustom yourself to yeah. their traditions and their cultures and everything else. And that obviously works the other way. But here's the thing. If you if you stood there and said to said to uh, somebody who was not from this country, you need to learn our language. You need to do this. You need to do that. You can be conformed as being a racist. Well, no, 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 no. Just so that we can communicate. Yeah. So that they we can. I mean, if someone that comes from another country. Yeah. And and a lot of them do. Yes. I mean, I'm not saying everybody does. I'm saying there's a few. I've come across um, people that just get all angry at you. I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I haven't been to China yet, or I haven't been to wherever. Yeah. Um, and if Shoot, if anybody wants to send me the Rosetta Stone, I'd love to learn a whole bunch of languages. Um, I can teach you English. Oh, yes, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah we did, we're doing the Cockney version of... Uh, the cheerleaders did my test, so I... <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> but yeah, um, you do expect... You, they'd expect you to conform, you expect them to conform. Just a little bit, and we'll learn yeah. from each other and everything, yeah. but it's just that communication thing. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm willing to learn. I just, I haven't got the Rosetta Stone. I've been so busy with other things, and... Um, uh, yeah. Hey, let's do a commercial real quick. Show sure. some of our sponsors Absolutely. real quick. All right. And uh, we'll come back. So, uh, crumbs. I want it on the big screen. You want it on the big screen because nobody else can see it on your computer. No, no. So it's kind of a trick, though. Oh, look at that. There it is. Hooked on the phone. We have the technology. Yeah. There we go. So, um, so you were speaking to Vince, who's watching our events. Okay, um, he's been. What's up, Vince? Uh, Vince is our What's survivalist. Up, he's our, our, our. I don't want to say the other guy's name anymore because I want him to be the man. I do want the the big BG guy, the BG guy. Bear, bear. I didn't want to oh, keep bringing him up, Mr. Grills. So, oh yeah. Anyway, so because our My our guy is, is the man, and uh, this is a commercial for his new show. He's been filming some episodes, uh, or filming scenes, so we can put together some yeah. episodes, yeah. and then we'll uh, once it gets a little warm, we'll go out with him. We'll kind film. of June, maybe about 80 degrees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay, I'm good for yeah. that. Yeah. Now, I'm a fair weather survivalist. Mosquito spray season. You know? Oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, just kidding. Here it is. <laughs> Method of survival. Mm. I love it. Oh, yeah. 
that Sunrise Ski so Resort. Much fun, dude. And so we much need fun. to get up there and do it in the snow on the weekend. Okay. Yeah, yeah nice. we're gonna do it. We're gonna do zip lining. But this time, I think we should just do it for fun. I wanna like I want you to film this time. I wanna you know, strap I, I, all the camera to you. Well, I was sitting there worried I was gonna drop all the brand new equipment. You know, three, six hundred feet, whatever it was. Really well, high. Down? It was seemed really it was high. Down, like, well, I was looking through the viewfinder, so okay. it looked really high. Right. <laughs> so, um, anyway, tomorrow night is WME Presents uh, Night at the Movies. That's we'll have, uh, too many words. Do you know we've got a special guest coming in tomorrow? We he do? He's, he's fleeting, very, he's coming through very quickly. He may not even be on camera. Who? Mr. Chow. Mr. From, ha from Hangover. Oh. Yes. He's gonna, That's going to be cool. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. He's going to gonna swing by. So, uh, if we get a chance, we get him on camera. If not... He may just be a vocal in the background, but he's literally coming through Arizona to go out and film in New Mexico. So um, he's oh. going to stop by. Oh, Jesus. You're serious? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dude, that just adds to all the big news we're going to tell you. He's tonight. on foot, so he'll probably just run <laughs> right through. Yeah. Yeah. What, did you die? <laughs> no. um, okay. I just want to say good, good evening as well to Marie Kissler as well. She's watching. Hi, Marie. Hi, Marie. Hi, Marie. Thanks. Right. She, it's nice to see us three back together again. Awesome, awesome. It feels good to have everybody back. You gotta think of like a trio name. I, there's some famous, there's gotta be some famous. Three Amigos. <laughs> in the movie? I'll be really? No, okay. All right. say, really? Come so, on. Seriously? What's up, Carl? Right. I'm busting at the seams. I want to start telling them the big news. Because, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's already. What time is it? It's just like 30 oh, after. Yeah, Oops. see? Yeah, we went, we're trying to get the shows a little shorter. Um, <laughs> Just normally zoned out if I know yeah, yes. hurry up, my off. So that will be awesome to have a guest. Just a chow. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what his name is. I have I have a list of, of people that we'll be having, but I have three confirmations that I can I can announce. Are you guys ready for this? I wish I had a drum roll effect. I know, right? We gotta get like a, a thing. That's so it. Oh, what? Maybe, maybe I can. Maybe there is a hang on, we have the technology, just remember that. We have an app for that. Keep talking, okay. keep talking, don't remember. Alright, so um, I, oh, I, I, we're, 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 I think I think we're gonna try for Friday. Wait for it, Seth. <laughs> Here it comes Seth. All right, let me let me get rid of this. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready, are we ready for this? this? All right, there's our advertisers. White Mountain Donuts. Mm, Jason, love the thank you for the donuts again. You guys are yeah, awesome. Right. And uh, this is a nine second sound effect. It takes so long to like. Oh, oh okay. here we go. Okay, should be working. You tell me when it's ready. Here we go. Ding. Oh no, ding. No, I did it. Do you want a ding? Ah, no would you, ding. Would you like again? Do you want it again? No, it's too late. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah, I got killed the effect in it anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, our first celebrity guest that will be on 1028 Live this week, the one and only, the writer of the song Celebration, Ladies Night, and Get Down on It from the band Cool in the Gang. Get Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have Sir Earl Toon on the show Better with us. Gonna... And I'm so honored to have him to be our first celebrity Ooh, guest. We can already get Doc on it. No. Get no. Doc on it. No, we're going to be talking That's about it. Check it out. <laughs> we're we're, 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 we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, the cool and the gang and how they just got their star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame recently. That's pretty and, awesome. And, um, um, oh, this is the whole band, actually. Let me, let me pull a picture up. Uh, Here's guess, Sir Earl. Guess, guess Here's Sir much. Earl, and he will be joining us live via Skype, and uh, we'll talk about Cooling Gang for a little bit, but we're going to focus on his new projects that he's got going on, I so, cool. um, this, this, and, it, and his charity work. They are, that's what Sir Earl Toon looks like. Yes, yes, uh, from Cooling Gang, yep. and we're going to talk about his it. charity work and his projects that he's working on. He is doing something that is amazing. Um, and I'm going to let him announce it. That's going to be fun. But it, it's a huge thing. We spoke to Sir Earl Toon before. Well, not yes. Not that actually spoke to him, but when we were working at the local radio station in town, uh -huh. he actually um, gave us his blessing to almost start the station. Oh, and yes. Was, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a new station. I was slightly drugged out of my face. So I just got out of hospital. Yeah, he had a heart attack. I mean, yeah. come on, right? Right yeah, before our big grand opening. So nice. we had just a little bit of time before the big <laughs> changeover and the big announcement and the... Uh, boss was like, what song should we pick? And I said, oh, Celebration. Absolutely. Yeah. Didn't even think twice. Cool in the gang. And he was like, okay. So we had about, I think it was 300 seconds because it was doing like a 300 oh, second countdown. Yeah, I, I remember that. And so, <clears throat> <clears throat> solve this real quick. Brought to you by Dr. Pepper. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, I forgot where we're going now. Yeah, when he played the song. Sorry. Oh yeah, so uh, uh, I called him, and he he gave us on the speakerphone everybody in the station a blessing on the station and everything. It was awesome. Now, he's so, a pastor as well, right? Is he... uh, I, I I don't want to say yes or no because okay. I don't know if it's pastor or if, if it is or ordained or not. Um, but he's very uh, he's a godly man. And one of his, his album that we're going to be talking about is called The Old Rugged Cross. Because okay. a lot of people won't talk about that up here. I mean, I mean, people will, but I mean, um, he, people, uh, he, how's the word I'm saying? Um, I don't know, it's coming out of your mouth. Uh, yeah. So we're just going to leave it, and we're going to talk it's about more like at, at the it's, event. So you're going to you know, tell your friends, everybody, everybody you know, to uh, watch. I'm pretty sure it was Friday. I'm just going to double confirm with him tomorrow. A week, a week this Friday or this no, Friday? No, hopefully this Friday. Oh, unless we have a musical guest coming in, but we could do both. I mean, I could sing if you want me to. No. Right? Whoa. <laughs> do you not even want to think about I, it? I, I mean, come on, dude. I'm just I'm kidding. kidding. Not all I'm in his mouth. the voice of an angel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Actually, it's, I, it's going to diversify. So we, 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 we got we to go hurry and move on, remember? So, just okay, so me, okay. me, me and Dills were out road tripping yesterday up in Flagstaff, right? And on our way back, we were so bored. Because that's a long drive. I don't know whether you've been to Flagstaff, but it's, mm. just, it's, it's miles of nothing. Yeah. So I have, a dash, I have a dash cam in my car. So I decided to, uh, we lip synced um, Adele's Hello, of which Doc's going to be playing with. Um, to make it kind of cool, so um, yeah, that's yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the sing -along, along, the, the, the lip -sync. car carry thing. Can't car say the whole word because I'm probably get. Uh, it's it's carpool sing-alongs. Ah, there you go, there you go. So yeah, watch that. That's uh, be coming up pretty soon. This is right? such an amazing photo. This is Doc. No, no, this is this is uh, <laughs> one of our uh, uh, the model great girls. Uh, this is Hannah with Mike Mahoney Photography, and they're doing a UFOs thing for um, uh, the big reveal in the Sunrise Ski Resort. Okay, I, I just gotta I gotta get these out because these yeah, people have been waiting to hear right. this big announcement. Okay, so we have Sir Earl Tim from Cool and the Gang coming, and then not. Next week, but the following week. Wait for it. Wait for it. Do you want to um, drum roll again? Huh? Do you want to drum roll up again? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Hmm. Not as important. A good friend of mine. <laughs> oh, 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 here, I got a picture. Oh. Yeah. Well, there you go. I got this picture of him. All right, Just cover so, the other person up because for copyright infringement. Huh? Just cover the other person up for copyright infringement. No, man. No, that's my bro. No, okay. Actually, I'll just do this. I have it right here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Michael Loftus. <coughs> Oops, that's Charlie, no, Sheen. that's Charlie Sheen. And there's a reason why, because Michael Loftus is Charlie Sheen's uh, comedy writer, and he's also the executive producer, uh, or was the executive producer of Two and a Half Men, and awesome. is now also with Anger Management. He goes where Charlie goes. So um, he, oh, sorry. There, there he is. Hey, there you are, Michael. And so uh, this, is, this is us when we worked on the first season of The Flip Side. Can you see that? Is it a reflection? I, I, I'm, get, I'm getting to it. Yes. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. All right, so this is Matthew J.C., Michael Loftus, and myself on set of the flip side with Michael Loftus, uh, season one. And, uh, yeah, I love these guys. It's what inspired me to, you know, the show. And, and then, of course, the community came together and, and pushed me even harder. So I'm, I'm glad that we, we got the ball rolling so on it. So are we having so, him on Skype? Yeah, he'll be on be? Skype, and he's going to be talking about uh, his show, which is on FX if you want to watch it. Flip side with Michael Loftus. I need, I need um, to seriously talk to this guy. Oh yeah, no, no, he's a great guy. Yeah. I mean, this is a, a shot mean, right here. I don't know what you, if you can see it or not with uh, Charlie Sheen, but it's it's when Michael and him are on the bus and they're doing an interview for the Flip Side. And so Charlie Sheen's in the Flip Side as well. He's on he's on the first season on an episode where he was interviewed, and then he said he wanted to run for president and have his dad be vice president. And I thought, awesome, I'll vote. <laughs> Winning. Winning. <laughs> Winning. So we're really excited to have Michael on here and hear about what, what's going on with him and, and the big projects in the entertainment world that, uh, uh, that are happening. Yeah. Um, and then a good friend of mine, world famous bass player. Let me uh, close this out real quick. Uh, Aaron. Aaron's. We love Aaron's. <laughs> yeah, Josh. Josh. They take care of us. Thank you very much. Josh Jones. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is world famous bass player from George Clinton, the Parliament P Funk, Thaddeus Jackson. He's going to talk about his new band and uh, projects that he's working on, and uh, a little bit of history on music. So, if you're into music, it, we got some good act, uh, uh, good uh, guests coming on, and then we got some big name actors that are going to be coming on. Uh, 
It's just getting scheduling around them. Uh, cool. Cool. Who do you want? No, I'm just saying you, you recommended me to that um, that series um, on Netflix called Stranger Things. Stranger Things, Stranger yes. Things. Awesome, dude. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Absolutely. And congratulations to Chester and all those guys for winning uh, the Golden winning. Globe, right? Golden Globe for the best uh, TV series ensemble. Yeah, cast very, or very, cast very ensemble. Good. Well worth recommending. Yes, to, to, to. and the acceptance speech was awesome. We played it the uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, um, and there it's it's so amazing that there is a season two coming, and people it. are excited. It's like, like the next big thing at Comic Cons. Um, you know, it, it's it's the fact that it's all of these amazing directors and writers. You, you would see, you would see, yeah. but not that it is. Yeah. But like Spielberg and James Cameron and Lucas and Stephen King and all, if they had all gotten together and were locked in a room and said, make an amazing TV series. They could do uh, it. The, the, the Duff, I think it's the Duffy or the Duffer Brothers. Well, the writers, I'm sorry guys, I, I, I'm not thinking off the top of my head and I don't have it up here. Um, but the, the, the guys, the, the brothers that wrote Stranger Things, they're just amazing. And um, actually, the president of Netflix, he says it's his favorite show ever. That's really cool. So that was in the first month it came out. Really cool. So he was like, yeah, they got a second season coming. Nice. So, uh, and the kids are amazing. Um, and, and our good friend Chester Rushing is in it. I, I mean, we look at him on Skype, dude. You we we do. He's, he is like so him. busy. Yeah, he's busy. flying all over the country. He's doing so interviews. What? He's filming movies. Chester, get on it. Uh, uh, get on it. He says, Chester, not me. You know I'm trying to get be cool. on it. Yeah. Because... Yeah, uh, you might be a big star, but get on it, all right? Yeah, I want to have you on before you're too big, you know, and just goes, so I can... What? Yeah, who? who? Dog, what? Who? What? I know. Yeah. yeah, the guy, this kid, I love, and I always, he knows, I always tell the story. He came into my office at Icon Studios when we, uh, when I was help running that, and he would have his acoustic guitar, and he was just like, hey, can I play you a song? And he's right out of high school, and I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, I was sitting there working at my desk, and he started playing, and I was like, oh my God, this kid's amazing. So Not only that, he's an amazing actor. So he's got he's, he's stepping more towards now the, the the acting side of things as his music, or is he still doing? Oh yeah, he's doing well? he's Stranger Things. He he did uh, another show on uh, another network uh, for a season. Southern something. I, I don't no, remember. He's got, a, he's got a really big thing coming up soon. Oh it? yes, is in that March. Actually announced or not? It is allowed to be announced. Oh. Uh, he's uh, in the new movie Logan about the Wolverine. Oh sweet. Yeah, so we're gonna try to have him on. Before or just after the premiere of Wolverine, or sorry, Logan, uh, I think it's March 3rd, I think. That's pretty awesome. So uh, look forward to that too. But Chester, you know, I know you're busy, brother, but give me a call back. Um, and then I, I have a whole list of others, but uh, I don't want to announce them until I call and confirm everything, you know. So obviously you've got, you've, you've been with, we've been with that sadly wrong. You have, but is it still on the TV? What's that? The no, camera? It's, it's not the camera, you're fine. Okay. Um, so you've obviously worked with a lot of pretty famous people. Yeah. Okay. Which kind of leads somewhat, it's all this segue stuff, we're getting good at this, which leads us to our uh, t-shirts that we're trying to sell. Oh, yeah. Um, if anybody Sweet would like to, that was uh, different, yeah, I like that one. If you would like to, we've got our shirts, and I don't have the image. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, I do. Sure. Okay, I, yeah, I forgot we're connected to the TV again. So we can do anything. Okay, we want. so check this out. I'm gonna pull this up for you. But uh, long, and, long and short of it is, um, wouldn't it be kind of cool to kind of walk around town and see people with the same T-shirt on and know where it's come from and know that you support. You're like you're you're in the family kind of yeah. thing. So we have this T-shirt uh, courtesy right, yeah. of, of White Mountain Tees who are doing all the work for the printing and everything else, um, and. Does exactly what it says on the tin, which we we'll just zoom into it. It's uh, it's kind of a bit blurry, but it's fine. So basically, it's small town famous. When did you come up with the concept of that? Uh, the White Mountain Model Brigade. Uh, a couple of the girls, uh, Crystal is my second man. Hey, we need these girls on here. What's going on? Oh, um, we want some lovely ladies to be kind of yes, yes. Well, with. not you two muppets. I I, I, I wanted us to try to get all the bugs out uh, oh, before cool. I brought such beauty on the oh, on okay. the screen. See. So when, if, 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 if stuff messes up, it's okay because we're not that pretty. So it's speak no for yourself. Deal. I've taken years to start looking like this. <laughs> yeah. it's so, a lot of work. so yes, um, uh, we're gonna have the White Mountain Model Brigade on here. Uh, have them talking about what they're doing, what yeah. they're all about. Can't wait. Um, Absolutely, should be cool. And what else? So much more. But yeah, I don't yeah. want to go all tonight. We still got another three days. So obviously, I was talking to you earlier, Ron, about um, 
shooting maybe a documentary type style thing up here with regards to guys. Oh yeah, truck guys. Four wheelers. Any of you guys out there like right. getting dirty in the mud? I'm not talking it that way, but. Uh, um, oh, by the way, Marie for the t-shirts, fifteen dollars. Oh yeah. So, so uh, and, and here's the web address. Yeah. White Mountain Tees with an S dot com slash small town famous. Absolutely. You can so. order it now. Um, he's doing increments of fifty at times to be the first one of fifty to get them. Yep. Absolutely. So get your get your orders in. Um, if you can't find it, just uh, just message Doc, and he'll give you all the information. Like Absolutely. That. So anyway, going back to the four wheel drive thing that um, what I do. So I was I'm sitting uh, looking at YouTube the other day, and they've got this show called Dirt Every Day. Now I know Doc, you're not much of a a wilderness sort of guy or a mud player or anything like that, but basically what these guys do is they do um, they go off roading and, and they go mudding and stuff, and they video it and they do cheap truck challenges, all that kind of stuff, which is kind of cool. There, that is cool. There is a club up here on Facebook called uh, the White Mountain 4x4 Club. And mm -hmm. hey, Ben, if you're watching, um, Ben's the like group leader, so to speak, and got hold of him today and said, hey, listen, it'd be really nice if we can get your guys with their four wheels and go out with, few, with a day and we can film them and do all that kind of stuff. He's down. Good. So we're gonna we're gonna start shooting some stuff with four wheel drives. So if some of you guys want to get in and be a part of, because you don't have to have a jacked up lifted four wheel drive truck. But if you want to go play in the mud a little bit, and have some fun with us, mm -hmm. we can uh, we can get that sorted out. So um, yeah, White Mountain Four Wheel cool. Club. We're gonna get out with them um, soon once the snow kind of clears up because it's a bit dicey out there. But we're gonna get that sorted out, um, which would be really cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. That'd be awesome. Yeah. And. Uh, if anybody wants to lend us a truck for it, because I don't think my Jeep will make it, and your car definitely won't make no, it. No, no. Doc's got a city boy car. <laughs> it's from the city. Has he ever it's seen dirt? City. Just huh? real quick, has he ever seen dirt? Yeah, there's some roads around here, and all the snow, so, you know, it's it dirty. <laughs> Snow's horrible out there now, it's all dirty and nasty. It's been beautiful, though. Weather's been gorgeous today. Well, oh, I know, right? I know, right? It's, it's, what, 55 degrees he got up to earlier on, it was lovely. Absolutely lovely. So, yeah, just sort of put that out there for anybody who wants to do four-wheel drive, a bit of mud bogging, a bit of messing around in the dirt. Um, we will have more information on that as well. And I know Jane will want to be involved in that with a huge great big truck, which would be an absolute, it'd be awesome, because if you do take your car, we which get will stuck, get stuck. You'll pull it out. No, you should just drive by laughing and shoot you from <laughs> the dirt. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> bye, bye, see ya. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Should be good. Should be good. What else we got coming up? Um... Oh, shoot. I forgot. I'll, I'll have to start that tomorrow. Um, we're going to start doing a community calendar for uh, all the, the towns uh, on the mountain. Oh, the, I mean, all the chambers? Yeah, it, it's like out. a mass. We're just, I mean, anybody can see it. We'll, we'll show you the link, but we're, we're just going to point things out, what's going on, and maybe we might go to a few of these things. Yeah. Uh, maybe even do a broadcast live. We got a tent, you know, a canopy thing. We can set it up, and, you know, as long as we got power and. As long as it's happening, I'm fine with that. Cool. It's going to be warmer. True. Absolutely warmer. Yeah. So anyway, that's how things happen here on the fly. Um, uh, that's about it. Yeah. I think yeah, tomorrow night it's um, 1028 and WME at the movies, correct? Correct. Correct. Um, We're going to talk, I'm going to talk about, I'm sorry, I hate to say this, girls, if you're watching, and I'm sorry, my wife is absolutely obsessed with the new Fifty Shades of whatever it is this time. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. You've never seen it. Oh, I've I've purposely stayed away from all well, things Fifty Shades. I try to. Okay, yeah. I try. Well, you're to. married. You didn't have a choice. It's wrong. Just yeah. a complete and utter wrongness. I didn't yeah. see it. Is really? Yeah. yeah it's, it's, That's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Billy, I'll take I'll take you. All I know is I, I don't want to watch someone else. No, don't tell me. You yeah. Know. Yeah. It's it's just, yeah. So the new one comes out Valentine's Day. Hmm. So guess what I've got to do Valentine's Day? Apart from doing the whole kind of romantic stuff, take my wife out to dinner and roses and chocolates. And yeah, thank you to go see the movie. It's been two years since the last one, and this two years has come around way too quick for my liking. But did it spice things up later? Whoa. That day? That's too much, dude. Nah, it is good. That's, I tell you what, you call deals now and ask them. No. no. Hey, deals. Speakerphone. No. Because be if it episode. does, then, you know, maybe we should watch it and, and suggest me. it to men because it would help. If it gets to the women, no, it doesn't. Oh, to you by, I, I, haven't, I just, I don't want to see <laughs> yeah, it. Exactly. But I have no desire to see it. Well, maybe you've got, <coughs> Me to, preview, you've got to go do the previews, dude. I mean, that's one for you. Oh, God. Um, yeah, okay, I guess I have to watch it. God. Damn. You'll like it. Uh, have you seen the spoof version of it, though? No, no. That is hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, so, that's totally all right. Like. 
Okay, right, I'm so sure we can, we're McGee. down to like one or two people. So no, uh, no, because no, no, you know, we got to try to keep it a little shorter because okay. attention spans these days, and we're going to be adding a bunch of stuff every day. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but we need we need help. So if you can get those shirts, uh, if you and your family or um, anybody, since I mean, if you want to tweet that link out, please to. All your celebrity uh, followers or, or Facebook share it. Facebook share it. Yeah. Um, you have our permission. Share it. Share it. Share it. Just send them to whitemountaintees.com forward slash small town famous. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. It was man. It was cool to have everybody back. It yeah. was. Thanks so, for See you in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you. All right. So um, let's see. Can I, no, you said it sounded weird for the TV. You want to play us out? Yes, absolutely. If I All right. I'm stuff. gonna. Hold on, let me grab the... Oh, well, actually, here, just do this. I got it, I got it, I got it right here. I know, but I'll have to mute this then. This is fine. Yeah, when you're in front of the camera and you're also working behind the scenes. Okay, so if I hit this... (laughs) There we go. All right. Good night. Good night, everybody. Night. Wait, volume.